of the land. First people of this land. Grandmothers and grandfathers. Gatherers, wanderers, hunters and healers. Magical beings, allies, spirits seen and unseen. We release what keeps us from spirit. Obsession. Commercial routines. Spirit, invisible, mysterious, indescribable, and ever-present. Breathe in and feel the spark of your own spirit, that part of you who transcends your flesh. Breathe out and look around you and feel your spirit's connection to others. We are all on a journey of spirit. Open the mind. Open the universe. Spirit came into Middle English via Old French from Latin spiritus meaning breath, distinguished from the Latin word anima meaning soul. The linguistic distinction between soul and spirit also exists in other languages, including Arabic and Hebrew. good human, a strong spirit. I will miss our enduring confidence. In the moment of death, spirit leaves the body. Breathe in, breathe out. We weigh his heart, soul, and spirit against a feather. What was the journey? How do we live in the fullness of spirit? Feel the life force of your spirit. The feather balances. Let's go back and reflect on the 
journey of his life, his spirit, to understand this measure.
constant vibration and exchange of particles. When we breathe or eat or drink, we are taking particles from outside into the particles of our body. And we change them. We change them. But more than that, the distinct line where we perceive the edge of our bodies is actually very fuzzy. Very fuzzy. Particles shift back and forth between my body and the air, or my body and the floor, or your body and the chair, or my body and your body. This atom here could have once been a part of my body. My body. Or your body. Or a cloud. Or a chicken. Or dirt. And all of these atoms were once part of a long dead star. This flow and exchange and transformation and emptiness and communication are all happening continually outside the range of human perception. But if we could be aware of it, we would know the hum of the universe.
two brothers, and they lived together in a temple. The older brother was very smart. The younger brother was not so smart and had only one eye. Now at this time, a traveler could stay at a temple if they won an argument about spirit. If they lost the debate, they had to leave. So one day, a wanderer arrived at the temple of the two brothers and challenged them to debate so that he could stay there. So the younger brother and the wanderer went off to the shrine to have their debate. Not long afterwards, the wanderer came back to the older brother, saying, your younger brother is a wonderful fellow. He defeated me. The older brother said, tell me what happened. Well, first I held up one finger, representing the enlightened one. Then he held up two fingers, signifying the enlightened one and his teaching. Then I held up three fingers, representing the enlightened one, his teaching, and his followers, living the harmonious life. Then he held up his fist, indicating they all come from one realization. Thus he is one, and so I must go. And he left. Then the younger brother came running in, saying, where is that guy? Well, he said he wanted to pay. Well, nothing, I'm going to beat him up. Tell me what happened. Well, the first thing he did was insult me by holding up one finger, pointing out that I have only one eye. But I thought that I should be polite since he was a stranger, so I held up two fingers, congratulating him on his two eyes. But then that jerk held up three fingers, showing only three eyes between us. So I got mad and tried to punch him in the face.
Fletcher. You know that it's forbidden. I put it on hours ago. Why are you still carrying her?
and my inner demons grew louder.
enchant the skies with clouds of breath. I am cold. I have been broken. My skin still tastes of the salt of tears, but I have made an ocean. I am whole. I have been broken. Parts of my heart have been blackened and burned, but I have grown a forest in the ashes. I am whole. anger to the table, I will use it to fuel acts of change. When you bring sadness, I will take it out into the world as compassion. And when you bring fear, I will remember everyone who has ever been afraid.
sought the wisdom of connection from the guardian of birth. We see spirit in many forms. The connection of humanity with one another and the animals, with the trees and the plants, the fire and the rain,
into a butcher shop. She overhears a customer saying to the butcher, give me the best piece of meat that you have. The butcher says, everything in my shop is the best. You cannot find anything here that is not the best. Upon hearing these words, the woman became enlightened.
began to fall around him. <coughs> we are praising you for your discourse on emptiness, the gods whispered to him. But I have not spoken of emptiness. You have not spoken of emptiness. We have not heard emptiness. This is the true emptiness. And blossoms showered upon them like rain. <laughs> Spirit connects 